Hello everyone and welcome to today's video in which I'll be continuing to show my 50s and 60s singles collection. So I'm going to start this video off with a great song, Unchained Melody, covered by many many people, uh, probably made most famous by the Righteous Brothers, but this is Al Hibbler's version, which I believe is in itself a cover. And Daybreak is on the B side. And next we've got a Vince Hill song, and that's Edelweiss from, of course, The Sound of Music. And the B side is A Woman Needs Love. And moving swiftly on, we've got an EP, also a car boot find. And this is a stereo EP, it's Symphonic Dances. And it's pretty beaten up, but for like 50p or however much I paid for it, I don't really mind. Because it's a nice early stereo EP. And here are the beautiful red and gold stereo labels. This is my favourite part about this EP. I just adore the labels on these. And they're side two. So yeah, as I say, for me personally, the main attraction is the labels. But I mean, it's, it's just a nice piece of history to have an early uh, stereo EP like that. Okay, so the next few singles I'm going to show are Buddy Holly related singles. Let's get some of those cover. Alright, so the first one we've got is an early single, and that is a Heartbeat. Recording first published 1958. This is in a, a reproduction sleeve, but it's very nice. So that's 60 years old, this song, as of this year. And it's got a, an equally good song on the other side, and that is Well Alright. And here's another Buddy Holly one. This is one of the first Buddy Holly singles I've got. And the sleep isn't correct, but oh well. And it's Brown Eyed Handsome Man, again on Coral records and this is a slightly later one this is 1963 so a few years after we died this is one was released and it's a good version and slipping and sliding is on the b-side and here we've got that'll be the day and this is an ep and there's the four tracks you get the crickets featuring the late great buddy holly there's the back. And this is also on coral. And except this one is kind of a, a dark blue coral label. There we are. And here's just a couple of kind of reissue. MCA EPs for Buddy Holly. So on this one you get Peggy Sue, Rave On, Rock Around with Ollie V and Midnight Shift. And this is their uh, special maxi single only 70p. And there's the back. And there's just the, the MCA label. Both sides there. And the second one's Pretty much exactly the same, just obviously different tracks. And this one you get, maybe baby, that'll be the day, think it over, and it's so easy on the same type of MCA label. That's the last one. Now here we've got something quite interesting. This is a fairly old EP, and you get two of the tracks from uh, The Planet Suite by uh, Holtz, of course, and you get Mars, The Bringer of War. And Jupiter, the bringer of uh, jollity. Yep. And I just love the cover on that. In fact, I think I bought it just for the cover. Even though the, the instrumentals are very good. But like, the cover is what attracted me to this album. And there's the back. And I'll just quickly show the label for this. It's on some kind of pie 
budget label, I would guess. And it says Pi N I X A. Or is it? In fact, sorry, that's M X A, I think. It was just a weird font. And I'm not seeing a year for this, so I can't remember off the top of my head when this was released. But it's still very nice to have. And now we have a great 60s track by the Honey Bus, and that is I Can't Let Maggie Go from 1968. That also has its 50th anniversary this year. And Tender Are the Ashes is on the B side. On the really nice Duram label. Now, the next few singles I've got are all by the Honeycombs, who were basically a one hit wonder of the mid 60s. And I said, one hit wonder was in the form of Have I the Right, which I've got to admit is one of the catchiest songs I have ever heard. Actually, I'll, I'll show it a bit better. What an amazing song this is. Really good. And this was released in, in, in 1964. Be a brilliant song. And the B side is Please Don't Pretend Again. Now, to be honest, not only was this the one big hit, but they had a few songs which attempted to replicate this with very poor results. And I'll, I'll speak a bit more about that in a moment, just once I've shown this next record. It's Have I the Right Again, except you may notice this one is a contract present, because it's only got the three prongs, rather than the usual four prongs on the standard issue here. So I just thought that was a neat... Little oddity. But anyway, uh, this is what I was referring to when I was talking about rip offs of Have I the Right? Is it because here, I kid you not, it is this exactly the same melody but with different words. And in fact, I'll actually put a link to this in the description. And I'll also put a link to Have I the Right so you can listen to the two songs together. This is just a really, really bad version of Have I the Right. But I mean, I don't, I don't really blame them for trying to replicate the sound, because as I say, it's a really brilliant track, Have I the Right, but this just was a very bad attempt at that, in my opinion. I'm sure there's some people who like it, though. And I'll Cry Tomorrow is the B-side. And here we've got That's The Way, which is probably the only other kind of minor hit. It, it, it was nothing like Have I the Right, but it, I, I think it got really low on the charts or something, but... Uh, that's the way. It's 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 a it's a decent song. I mean, it's 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 nothing brilliant, nothing spectacular, but I mean, it's all right. It's listenable, quite catchy, and with like how I the right this appears on their album The Honey Comes, which I've got and I'll show it at some point in a video, and can't get through. Sorry, yeah, can't get through to you. It's on the B side. This is 1965, and as you may have noticed, this is slightly later, kind of red pipe label. Different to this design here. And this is the same single except this is a push out copy. It's got a push out centre rather than the solid centre of this copy here. Again, just an interesting variation. Now, I find this one very interesting, this single, because this isn't actually a British copy, this single, it's a foreign copy. But uh, anyway, this is a song called Something Better Beginning, which some of you may know was written by Ray Davies, as it says there, of the Kinks. And it, this is actually a Kinks song, and it appears on their second album, Kind of Kinks. Now, I don't know the full history of this song. I don't know if Ray originally wrote it for the Honeycombs and then the Kinks just did it on their album, or if they covered it from the Kinks album. But either way, it's, 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 it's quite a, an unusual song for them to do, but it's... It's a good song, but I don't really like the arrangement on the Honeycombs version. I definitely prefer the King's version. But um, it was interesting for them to try this, though. Slightly different to the normal sound. And I'll see you tomorrow on the B-side there. If I find out what country this is from, I'll just have a quick look at the label. It's from Canada. Okay, so this is a Canadian copy, that's right. It says down there, made in Canada. Hopefully I'll be able to get a British copy this one day. Alright, so that's the end of the Honeycomb singles. I've now got one by Humble Pie, 
Nacho Bone Boogie. This is a good track. From 1969 on the pink immediate label. And here we've got a song by Brian Highland, which is very famous, Sealed with a Kiss on His Master's Voice from 1962. And Summer Job is on the B side. And I've also got a reissue of that on ABC Records. We'll just have the centre pushed out. There's the back. Which is a different B-side actually to the to the original copy. I don't know if that's another single by him or not. I'm not really knowledgeable about Brian Highland. Now the next few singles I've got are by a band called the Ivy League who were around kind of the mid-60s, so 64, 65, and had a few good singles. And the first one I've got is on the Piccadilly label, and that's called What More Do You Want? And this one came out in 64. Definitely a lesser-known Ivy League single, this one. And Wait A Minute is on the back. And here's one called Funny How Love Can Be, which is... A hit and it's very very good track from 65 yeah um by this point the uh, Piccadilly labels it, it basically just resembles the normal pie label with lonely room on the b-side there and it, this is nice this is a promo of the Ivy League song called that's why I'm crying I think this only cost me about two pounds fifty so I couldn't resist picking it up and A Girl Like You on the B-side. And this is probably my favourite Ivy League song. And it was their biggest hit, I think. If I remember rightly, it got to number three when it was released. And it's Tossing and Turning. A really good track. And Graduation Day on the B-side. There we are. Now moving on to a single by Tommy James and the Shondells. And this is a big issue, but the reason I bought it is because I love this song here. I think we're alone now. What a great track that is. And Hanky Panky on the B-side, which I believe was also a single. And this is on Roulette. Interesting label design. Now I've got another couple of singles by Tom and James and the Shondells and these also be issues. So here we've got Sweet Cherry Wine on one side and Ball of Fire on the other. Back to back hits. And on this single here we have Getting to Getting Together and Mirage. Moving on, we've got one by Jane and the Americans. This is actually the only song I know by them, but I really, really like it. And it's Cara Mia on the United Arts label from 1965. Really good track. It's an excellent work by the lead singer as well. It goes really high. And here we've got one by Jimmy Jones. Oh, on the uh, yellow MGM label. 1959, so quite an old one. And here we've got Marv Johnson, You Got What It Takes, a song which I first heard covered by the Dave Clark Five, but this is a really nice version as well. 1959 on the London label, with Don't Leave Me on the B-side. Now here we've got a pretty batter's Johnny and the Hurricanes one, and that is Beat Nick Fly without the centre, unfortunately, and Sandstorm. Yeah, as you can see, this is a really tatty copy, but it's followed up by a single in much better condition and a fantastic instrumental song, Red River Rock. 
very very catchy and there's the b-side buckeye here we've got tom jones track the james bond film with the same name thunderball fantastic vocal performance by tom jones on this one especially the end note brilliant absolutely brilliant And key to my heart on the back. <clears throat> and here we've got Green Green Glass of Home, also by Tom Jones from 1966. And there's Promise of Anything on the back. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there for this instalment, but I really hope you enjoyed seeing these. And I'll be sure to upload another video in the near future showing a few more of these singles. Because I want, I want to try and get through as many of them as I can in pretty quick succession from now on. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.